It was expected that the beginning this year, Nairobi would have employed a bus rapid transport system, BRT, to address the issue of traffic congestion and chaos in the city's transportation sector. The government had promised to deliver the big BRT promise in quick succession. But after the first announcement, the government has held quite a number of briefings not to announce the commencement of the modern transport system, but to give reasons for shifting timelines. Tonight, our reporter Enoch Sikolia looks at the BRT promise and why it could just take a bit longer. It's rush hour in Kenya's heavily populated capital Nairobi. And for travelers like Maura Nyaga, this is the normal traffic nightmare on a typical weekday. So we decided to consider another route. The current Matatu system is chaotic, irregular, slow get stuck in traffic and takes long for passengers to get on and to get off. Ranked fifth in the world in terms of traffic, Kenya now wants its heartbeat to have a surgery of some sort and employ a model similar to Colombia's bus rapid transport system. It has been Nairobi City's mode of transport for decades. But with the population in the city swelling with each passing day, the government has been promising a well-organized and efficient public transport system. We are telling Wajiko, now you stop walking, you're flying. We are telling Wajiko, now you are not going to be hassled. This was the promise last November when we interviewed engineer Gitao. Nine months later, there are no signs of the flying Nairobi passengers as was figuratively put by the infrastructure secretary in the Ministry of Transport. And it appears Maura's daily experience in the city's traffic will last longer. <laughs> Indeed, BRT is fast because it runs in segregated lanes and involves fare collection and employs earth-level boarding. Ever since the bus rapid transport system dream was born, the government has been making one promise after the other, shifting goalposts and timelines, even as Kenyans await the much-talked-about BRT system. Now, we are here to see how much has been done since the last promise was made. We are also looking at how ready Kenya is to have a BRT system and if the promises that were made then were sensible. We are in the company of Constant Cup, a career urban planner and a regular user of bicycles. But the reasons why we are here themselves begins with this live studio interview held on the 5th of December 2018 where the cabinet secretary in charge of transport promised that the BRT system will have been operational by March this year. If we don't have this process up and running from say March next year, let's have another debate here <laughs> and then you tell me what you happened. <laughs> But on ground zero, nothing much to suggest the project is still alive. We say you are making a marking of the road, but it's the purpose of marking the road to be on. To be sure, what is it? But Constant Cap says there are a lot of questions over how the state has approached the BRT quest. He says government's choice to prioritize the purchase of buses without putting up proper infrastructure is a proverbial equivalent to putting a cart before the horse. There's a lot more that comes with, with BRT other than just segregated lanes. He says to understand how the government is missing the mark, one needs to understand how the basic model of the BRT system works. BRT buses are designed to run at the center of the road with dedicated lanes. Perhaps the reason for the now infamous red line on Thika Road. BRT stations are usually located at the medians, closed, well lit and fully accessible. Real-time information about schedules are readily available. Areas of validating fares are located at the entrance of the station. Boarding is fast because in most occasions the bus flow and the station's flows are almost at the same level. 
A drive along Thika Road shows no signs of this key infrastructure being put in place. Six months after CS Masharia told journalists that the government was fast-tracking the construction of stations and other supporting infrastructure before the buses arrive. The CS said about 1.2 billion shillings needed to roll out infrastructure had been allocated. CS Munyakursika, Nabre Majibu Zajibu. Now, if the government had kept all its promises and timelines, then the construction of a median station under that bridge would have either been completed or on the verge of completion. According to the government plan, several bridges along Thika Superhighway will be modified to have median stations. They include Kenyatta University, Kahawa Barracks, Gidurai, Claywacks, Kasarani and Roy Sambo, Safari Park, Garden City and Roasters, Kenya School of Monetary Studies, Youth Service and Utali College, Muthaiga and Gara. New stations will be built at Ruiru, Membli Junction and Gidurai. Now what we are doing is uh, we are improving new uh, stations. But currently all locations of pedestrian crossings, we are improving them to take the ridership the kind of demand we have. And we will be getting people over the bridges onto the BRT corridor. So it will be accessed over the uh, overhead bridges in most of the bus stops that we are doing. Studies have indicated that when you have a good non-motorized walking uh, facilities one kilometer from a BRT station, there is more use of it. And when you have good cycling infrastructure 2.5 kilometers from a station, you get much more use of that uh, uh, particular BRT station. Now, we have not heard of any of that. What we've been shown are the routes, the different routes. Indeed, a well-designed BRT integrates trunk and feeder lines. Three park and ride stations, as well as transfer stations, are supposed to be built at Ruiru, Kidurai, and Kesarani. Park and ride is going to decongest the city. It will remove vehicles, the number of vehicles that will have reached the city. And it will also be, it will be very economical for a user because where you park and ride, the fee would not be as much as what you what you, what, what you what you'd have paid for the city. Bus depot must be located at the end of the BRT corridors. For the Kenyan case, according to the proposal, the area around the KNH ideally in the terminal surroundings. It's supposed to prevent buses from traveling without passengers from the beginning and at the end of the route. From Thika Superhighway, the proposal designs to close Tomboya Street from other users. It will only be dedicated to the BRT. Besides closing the street, a pick and drop station is to be built at the current Tomboya post office. And of course, our spot check shows the same old story of the street looking like a big Matatu parking bay. As Kenya grapples with the complexities of developing a BRT system, residents of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, have been enjoying the reliability of their new transport system. Perhaps Kenya can learn one or two things from her neighbor, we wondered. Tofauti na daladala kugombana, kuibiana, kufanyana vitu vya kila aina. Before the buses were bought, the Tanzanian government redesigned roads meant to have BRT incorporated. Dar's median stations were well constructed to enable even the disabled to board and alight with ease. In Tanzania's capital, roads were redesigned to have barriers for BRT routes, perhaps putting in mind notorious road users with an appetite of breaking traffic rules. And DAR residents will tell that this is a system Nairobi needs. Before the implementation of the multi-billion shillings project, Tanzania faced similar problems as Kenya. The facing out of Dala Dala, an equivalent of Kenya's Matatu, plying the routes BRT was to take. But Matatu Owners Association says such hurdles in Kenya have been broken. It is coming. We would rather have to wait and have something that is perfect than to have anything that would collapse within a short time. We will not have achieved anything. In January, CS Masharia announced that the first batch of 1.6 billion shillings high-capacity buses would arrive from South Africa in a matter 
of a few weeks. But the 64 buses are yet to arrive months later. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.